Hey YouTube, Joe Orsack here again. Um, sorry for such a long absence and uh, lengthy time for rebuttal. Um, work has kept me incredibly busy, so I apologize. Peace and blessings uh, on each and every one of you. Uh, and I thank you, uh, Nali Akbar, for your response. Um, forgive me if I say that wrong. My name is Joe Orsack. You can call me Joe. That's why my screen name is J Orsack. Uh, so. Joe to everybody out there that's my friend or a friend that I haven't met yet. Uh, let's dig in. Um, uh, Nali Akbar, you state that uh, my argument would make sense if that were the context, but it's out of context, So, uh, which personally I find hard to believe since I went verse by verse to establish the context. But nevertheless, let's look at what you state. Uh, you state that the context is that Jesus is answering, who are you, with the idea that he is one in purpose with God. Now let me state this again, uh, that it would not answer the question, as I said in my first video. But anyway, let's review your assertion in detail. Uh, you give the evidence for your assertion by stating that Jesus says he is here to guide the people to the truth. That was uh, your direct words. Now let's review exactly what Jesus said, because you're skipping over quite a bit of the text in order to make your assertion. Uh, verse 25, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe, the works that I do in my Father's name, these testify of me. This is very important because Jesus is establishing the context. He states that his works tell exactly who he is. He's answering the question, who are you? He tells them, I've already told you who I was. And the works that I do tell who I am. So he's laying the context right here by stating that it's his works that identify specifically who he is. So he's not citing his works to say that his purpose is the same as God. The context of Jesus' following examples of his works are to specifically identify who he is, not what his purpose is. He himself establishes the context. All right. Now you then state that his purpose was to guide, and I quote, guide the people to the truth. Now while this is true of his purpose, the context that Jesus himself established was that his works testify to who he is. So, what exactly is Jesus' first example of who he was? Let's look at it. Verse 26, but you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Now, I've already demonstrated that Jesus himself says that it's his works that testify to who he is. So, who is Jesus asserting to be here? What's the answer? It's very simple. He's asserting that he is the shepherd. Now, no other prophet in the history of prophets ever states that he is the shepherd. And why is that? Well, it's with good reason. And I'll tell you, for one of the, the simplest scriptures, probably the most common scriptures in all of scripture that everybody knows, and that is, the Lord is my shepherd. Psalms 23. Very famous. The first work that Jesus uses to explain who he is, is to identify that he is the shepherd, or in simple terms, the Lord. Now, not to be rude, but you can completely gloss over the, the rest of, of Jesus' examples in order to conclude that he was asserting one in purpose. Now, Mr. Dat does the same thing, and most Muslims draw upon his arguments in order to respond to John 10.30, so it's understandable. I promise I'm not trying to be rude, uh, but it's very consistent. The dad does the same thing. He jumps from saying, my sheep uh, know my voice, all the way down to, I'm one in purpose with the Father, and skips all the in-between part. The all, all the in-between part are more examples that Jesus gives. So, let's look at what he says here. In fairness to Jesus, let's let him finish his examples of what his works are to demonstrate who he is. Verse 28, And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, 
He, Jesus, asserts the divine power to give his followers eternal life. He gives it. Only God gives eternal life. Has there ever been a prophet in the history of prophets that ever asserted that he personally gives eternal life? Never. Jesus has now established his second example of who he is. First example, that he is the shepherd. Only the Lord is the shepherd. No other prophet ever makes that claim. And he asserts that he gives eternal life. No other prophet ever asserts that he gives eternal life. He is laying the foundation of who he is as testified to by his works. So, now moving on, then as I have already outlined in my previous video, he equates his hand with the hand of the Almighty. These are his works. His works identify who he is. Thus it becomes plainly clear that it's impossible to add to the scriptures in purpose. When it's plainly clear that Jesus asserts that who he is is defined by his works, and that is God in the flesh. Now, you spend the remaining four minutes of your video uh, to a rebuttal on a passing scripture I, a reference I made to John 8.58. I won't go into the rebuttal on that here, uh, but I will save it for a subsequent video in order to maintain the integrity of the discussion here and not dilute it with other texts. Um, that concludes my video, and hopefully the quality is improving here uh, in the ORSAC video library. Uh, my first one was looking pretty rough. I wasn't even confident that was, it was going to work and upload and everything. Um, so hopefully this one's better, and uh, there's a lot of substance. Um, I thank you for the politeness and the courtesy with which you have uh, posted your first video, your patience in uh, dealing with me as a newbie uh, video poster and that sort of thing. And again, blessings and peace on everyone who watches this video in the name of Christ as I follow him as my Lord and Savior. Amen.